Hey guys, in this video I would like to show you Android 7 Lite. Um, it is the home screen which aims to make the software on your device look like you're running Windows 7. Um, I'm not a big fan of home screen launches which try and make the software look like a Microsoft or an Apple product. However, I downloaded the um, home screen launcher out of curiosity just to take a look at it. Um, you know, see how bad it is pretty much. Um, the thing that I really dislike about the light version is that there were advertisements pretty much everywhere throughout the software. Um, I think it would have been reasonable if they just had them in the launcher settings. However, the fact they have put them everywhere really turns me off even considering the pro version. And the pro version is um, more than $7. So I don't think I would buy it anyhow when there were better products out there for a lot cheaper. Um, so let's look at the start menu first. The start menu is um, very hard to open, you know, just by tapping it, you know, like you sort of have to aim a bit higher. I'm not sure if that is my um, touch screen or, you know, maybe my fingers are a bit too big, though I find it very hard to open. Uh, we have restore desktop at the top. I'm not sure what that does, so you need the pro version for it. We have my computer. Uh, that pretty much opens the root directory of your Android device and as you can see in the file manager you have an advertisement. So let's close that. Go back to the start menu. If I can even get it open. Uh, we have my documents. Uh, which um, takes you to your SD card. This menu is a real time waster. Control panel. They have their own sort of control panel though. You need the pro version to use most of the features. You know, display works, so it just redirects you to, you know, the you know default device display settings. You know, it's a feature that I wouldn't pay for. Uh, we have my storage, I'm not sure what that is, so you need the pro version. And we have an Internet ex oh wait, sorry, we have an Internet Explorer icon next to, you know, the web browser, which is pretty ironic considering that most people do not use Internet Explorer. All programs. I really hate this menu. You scroll up and down, you know, it's okay, it's a bit of a novelty. Though for everyday use, you know, what's the point? You have this whole big screen here. You have all of this real estate, yet um, you have um, all of the um, applications in such a small box. Um, I don't see the point of it. They are trying to, you know, copy the classic Windows Start menu. Though, what's the point? They can copy um, the general theme of it. They don't copy the location of everything. You know, you have all of this screen, and, you know, the Windows Start menu isn't designed um, for touch devices, so... It really annoys me how they have, you know, tried to copy the Windows menu and, you know, they've just made it very hard to do things. And, you know, you can search. I don't think that's the best location for a search bar, to be honest. Um, you know, and also, what else can I show you? Um, at the bottom here, you have all of your running tasks, which you can sort of um, scroll between. Uh, I don't believe that you can easily close them from here, like if you hold down the icon it won't come up with an option to close it. That may or may not be in the full version, I'm, I'm not sure. Um, and in the bottom right hand corner there's no notification bar at the top by default. So in the bottom right hand corner I have my Wi-Fi indicator, you know, my battery status. Um, you have volume control which is hard to open. And you can set the volume if your fingers are small enough. It sounds a bit um like Ubuntu, which is pretty funny. And you can open up a calendar. And if you click change date and time settings, if your fingers are small enough, it will open up the date and time settings um, settings section of the settings menu. Um, I'm not sure if there is anything else I can um, 
tell you about um, Android 7 Lite, or I'm not sure if there is um, anything else I can show you. Tell me in the comments below if I missed anything. Um, though I couldn't recommend this for everyday use, you know, download it, give it a try, it's a bit of a novelty. I would highly, you know, not recommend this for an everyday use and, you know, I couldn't recommend it at all and, you know, it's just not very productive to use. Everything is just so small and hard to touch and open. So, um, uh, yeah, download it, tell me what you think and thanks for watching.